for dessert, we're making one of my husband's favorite, well, I have to admit, it's mine too, coffee ice cream. We both love coffee, and a funny story about that, he actually used to hate coffee until our daughter Maddie was born, and when she was a newborn, suddenly we were both so exhausted, he said, okay, whatever this coffee magic is, I need in on it. So I made him a few cups of coffee, and the rest is history. So we combined our two loves, coffee and ice cream, for our favorite dessert. And it's really easy to make. It's literally three ingredients, and um, just very simple ingredients to find as well. Now I have some uh, granulated coffee coffee, instant coffee here. I'm doing one tablespoon in a bowl, but you can also use your morning coffee if it's chilled or room temperature. You just don't want to add hot coffee because that will definitely mess this recipe up. Then I have a half cup of almond milk that I'm going to add to this and a fourth cup of stevia. Now for this recipe, I use stevia, but you can use any kind of sweetener that you like. You could use coconut sugar, you could use monk fruit sweetener is a great one, honey, agave, maple syrup, any kind of sweetener you like. I just don't recommend white sugar and white flour in any of my recipes. So I did a fourth cup of stevia, but you could add as much or as little, um, depending on your desired taste. So I'm gonna whisk this together. And why you did the milk there is you can see how the coffee granules just um, kind of melted into that milk. So I'm gonna whisk that together. Then I'm gonna add my True Whip, which is a healthier alternative to our beloved Cool Whip that we all know and love from childhood. I think that if you were born anytime in the 80s, 90s, maybe even, who knows? I mean, it could be years before that. <laughs> but I was born in the 80s, so that's how I know about Cool Whip. Um, cool Whip was like the thing. You did, you added Cool Whip in every single dessert. So I'm just kind of stirring gently, I'm folding. You don't wanna break it down just like whipped cream, just like um, egg whites when you beat them. You wanna keep the air in there. So I'm just kind of gently folding and stirring in that coffee mixture. And you can see how delicious this looks. If you like coffee and you like ice cream, this is a must make. And you can see how quick it was too. Um, so the only part you have to wait on here is the freeze time. Just like anything that's worth the wait, it's definitely worth it. Um, you definitely want to put it in the freezer for I'd say at least about four to six hours until it hardens up, but you could also do it overnight and that way you don't have to wait. Um, so I'm going to add some chocolate chips to this because what's coffee ice cream without chocolate, right? So this I'm not going to measure out because really you don't have to measure chocolate chips. But you can find dark chocolate chips, you can find stevia sweetened chocolate chips, um, whatever kind of chocolate chips work for you and your family. But I personally love stevia sweetened chocolate chips and Sean likes them too. So that's what I'm using here. And I'm just gonna pour in probably, let's do a few more tablespoons. It is our anniversary. Probably about a fourth cup of chocolate chips. And then I'm going to Spread it into a pan. Now you could use a bowl for this as well or even a Tupperware, but I'm gonna make it in a pan so it looks a little bit fancier for our anniversary dessert. Then, like I said, all you wanna do is you wanna cover this, put it in the freezer four to six hours or overnight until it's frozen. You can even top it with a few extra chips if you'd like. And Sean and I, one of our favorite things to do for our date nights is get ice cream out. So instead we're having ice cream at home and it'll be the perfect way to end our celebration together.